me, Froydan. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, then please subscribe after three minutes and then hit that little cute bell. minutes later earth collides with the planet theophobia which forms the moon the rest of the leftovers of this enormous collision will form the asteroid belt and the near to earth asteroid Jupiter wipes the fifth gas planet out of the solar system, which makes a possibility for Earth to make more life than the fifth gas planet, which divided Jupiter and Saturn from each other, was an enormous threat by asteroids bouncing back on it and then fly slightly past Jupiter. Good that that planet was wiped out. Then at 1 a.m. we have the first light or things that look like light. Actually the first building stones of life. And I'm talking about water. It was a 20 million years long asteroid ray. But you should be happy that that was an asteroid ray because if it was an acid rain, then there was no water on Earth. Thank you, asteroids. And then at 3 p.m. and 30 seconds, the first life. This is just a few bits of bacteria, but it's, it's better than lifeless water. Okay, then. Okay, you think a sponge? But 
Yes! SpongeBob. Please, sponges are alive! No, Mama, not SpongeBob. SpongeBob was born such a 400 million years ago. Then, at. Then we are now at 10 a.m. The first reptiles and the first plants on land. This uh, this means there's still stepping in the Silurian period. Okay, I just made that up. Cell phones didn't exist in that time. And by the way, we just invented the DAP in the 1990s. Uh, okay, never mind. I just don't know when we invented the DAP. Okay. And then, we're at 11 a.m. And then, Buddies here like the Dimetrodon? Okay, never mind. He's He's running away with a fish the size of a pig. Okay, then Then at 12 AM well done! We're... Oh. Well, yes, well done. You survived the mass extinction. And just 5% survived. Just 5%! 5% guys! 5! But also, congratulations! The dinosaurs are born. This was actually at 12.01 a.m. But it's uh, better than nothing, right? It's better than no dinosaurs. There is something needed to fill up the empty Triassic period. And then in the Jurassic period, well, uh, a new mass extinction that wiped out again 95%, but the dinosaurs survived. Then in the Cretaceous period, is that a 10 kilometer asteroid? <laughs> well, at least that was what the dinosaurs asked. Had the power of an antimatter bomb. An antimatter bomb! Okay, that crater will just disappear in 950 million years. 950 million years! Okay, then. Midnight, the first humans, and then 
trolley. If so, if the, the history of the Earth was just one day, then we would just exist for twenty seconds. Well, uh, not really. So you're thinking, huh? Just survive after midnight? Wait, wait, no. So I mean that at what we know in this one day history as midnight will be the end of the earth. So swallowed by the sun but survives. And then by that time we'll, we flew away to another livable planet. So actually if the earth was just for one day then we would survive much longer than 20 seconds. Well guys I guess this was it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Also don't forget to smash that notification bell to be notified of my new videos. Bye guys and see you next time. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Is that a Tyrannosaurus Rex eating up the Demetrodon? Yes! Ah!